What's up guys, Brian and Michael here. I'm gonna initiate a passing sequence from the double butterfly guard. And um, I'm gonna obtain what we call a single inside position and look for a leg entanglement. Okay, I'm gonna do a back step transition to get there. Okay, so what I do here is I'm gonna take my Taekwondo forearm block, right, here. And when he squares his knees back up, I come in. All right, watch that again. Here, he comes back. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna get the underhook as I go to pass. Well, Michael has done jiu-jitsu longer than two days, so he he knows that he needs to get the underhook too. So this is a battle that takes place. We were joking before we started filming. This is like the little kids class in Escaping Mount ends up looking like this sometimes, right? But Michael gets the underhook and there's no need for me to pummel again. You can do that. I used to do, like, I, I go for the underhook, he pummels, I re-pummel, and I get the pass. Now I just leg lock you because it's too much work. All right? So what I'm going to do is I, I hug around and I back step here. And I'm always looking for this one. Now this has come up in uh, recent weeks, right? Sometimes people cross their feet this way. And I can't pull this one over, right? Inside heel hook is what we do on this leg when they cross like that, right? Now. Why, why I bring this up is if he crosses on the other side or, or, or I can preemptively get him in the ankle up position. I'm not gonna finish this ankle because I don't really have this leg super controlled, but I will switch, right? Here, like that. Now, if I turn my body up like this, so you see how my shoulders are at a different angle, that helps me get a deeper grip. But I gotta take that back I take that shoulder back to get the submission, okay? Another one here, I can, this is kind of like a bullshit move, but this heel hook here, all right? <clears throat> I'm like just trying to get you to pull your foot out so I can go for inside. Same thing here. Frequently, when you're holding this and you go to switch, right? He'll pull his foot out, fantastic. You got the inside heel hook here, right? And if he pulls his foot out too, I can trap it, right? I always want to be sure my leg's substantially above his knee line, right? This is his, his knee line. I need to be up there for good connection. So I like all of this because it creates what John Donahue calls the, the dilemma or also uh, sort of like double trouble. Like I've got him in multiple threats and I'm constantly, the dilemma as I understand it is like, I give you two choices, both of them usually bad. You deal with one and I go to the other one. And it's just a, it's just a, a sort of way of, of strategizing, right? But if I trap this leg, cause he pulls it out off of either one of those attacks on this leg, inside heel hook. If he crosses his feet in the other way, when I go for this, inside heel hook. Let's look at this one more time. Push. He squares up, I underhook, go to pass the underhook, so I back step, and I'm looking for this, right? If he crosses his feet underneath, I grab this one instead, right? If he starts getting this leg involved, I'm gonna look for it. And, and look, is this perfect? No, but it's like, then he's, then he's maybe thinking like, oh, I should pull this leg out instead of defend this heel hook, which is, well, that's the dilemma. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, he's in, you know, he's not in two submission threats, but he's got, like he needs to do this to further defend, right? So he needs to use this like, so it's an interesting concept, right? That's about it. Thanks guys.